hello and welcome to the series. I'm going to be taking you through how to run a fully featured Bitcoin node in Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, uh, which just got released in April of 2022. Now, by way of overview, um, we're going to go through hardware requirements of running a Bitcoin node. Uh, we'll also go through some basic home networks and how they work. Um, and then we will move on to the installation and familiarization of Ubuntu 22.04, which is a Linux-based um, operating system. Now, we're going to be using the command line only, um, so uh, don't get scared. Um, it will be a worthwhile challenge for you if you've never done a command line before. Um, I'll take you through some of the steps and I will take you through at the start some of the skills that you will need to learn um, so that you have a good time throughout the rest of the series. And I'll get you familiar with that operating system of Ubuntu um, in the command line environment. So there's not going to be a graphical interface with your mouse and all that sort of stuff. We're going to be controlling everything via our keyboard. Now, by way of overview in terms of the actual um, open source software that we're going to be installing onto that operating system of Ubuntu, um, as the diagram suggests here, um, a, a lot of this will focus around Bitcoin Core. We will download Bitcoin Core, we will verify it, we will uh, install it, we will run it, um, and we will configure it. We will also then um, uh, make sure that this uh, this application starts on the boot of, of, of the machine. The diagram here is um, broken down into certain sections. Um, you can see here storing Bitcoin, exploring Bitcoin, spending Bitcoin, earning Bitcoin, and finally the Lightning Network. Now, just going into um, a bit more depth around storing Bitcoin, we'll be installing uh, Fulcrum, which is an Electrum server, um, and that will be a database that Sparrow Wallet uh, will connect through to. Now, Sparrow Wallet will have uh, our hot wallet um, for coin joining um, or collaborative transactions. And we will also import our hardware wallet into Sparrow Wallet um, uh, so that, you know, um, we, can, we can take care of our cold storage as well. So that's kind of the storing Bitcoin um, and how to manage our, uh, our wallet. The next thing that we'll do is also uh, look into exploring Bitcoin via the installation of mempool.space, which looks something uh, like this. This is what's known as a block explorer. Um, this allows us to uh, check the status of our transactions um, or transaction IDs that we're interested in or addresses um, and explore more um, of, of what this permanent blockchain um, uh, data is uh, in a nice graphical representation uh, that will look something um, like this. So we'll be installing that on our um, Ubuntu machine and it will be uh, fetching information from Bitcoin Core as well as our Fulcrum server. So we'll, we'll tie that in as well. Next, we will talk a little bit about spending Bitcoin. Um, now, the wallet that I like to spend out of is Samurai Wallet uh, because of some of the um, cool features that are available there. In our um, node box, we will install Samurai Wallet Dojo and uh, we will then in, um, hook up our Samurai Wallet, which is an Android only application, um, to our Samurai Wallet Dojo uh, and we'll pair these two applications together. From here, uh, to participate in collaborative transactions 24-7, um, we will install Whirlpool CLI onto our um, Ubuntu Notebox machine. And we will control that using the Whirlpool GUI, which is graphical uh, user interface and CLI stands for command line interface. So we will be installing both of these um, pieces of software and we will be using it to um, uh, control the continuous mixing of our coins. So that's something um, that we'll go further into, um, the whole Samurai Wallet stack. Um, I'll also talk a little bit about post-mix tools and paynims and those sorts of things as well. So um, yeah, that, that's my top pick for spending um, Bitcoin. The next part of the series will focus on uh, earning Bitcoin. Now, um, this will focus heavily on BDZ Pay Server, um, which is a, a payment processor, uh, an open source um, uh, payment processor uh, that allows us to earn Bitcoin um, from the internet um, or, you know, from our customers um, or our, um, for our labor or for, you know, our goods and services. So this is something that we will um, install on on our uh, Ubuntu Notebox, um, and it will be using it to basically get paid. Um, so we will then um, 
expose this out um, to the world um, such that everybody uh, is able to pay us um, via the World Wide Web. So that's pretty cool. Then we'll move on to the Lightning Network. Now there's two implementations that I will be going through um, on the Lightning Network. Uh, there's LND, um, which is by far the most popular one at the moment. Um, I'll go through uh, Loop, uh, Lightning Loop, um, Lightning Terminal, and Lightning Pool. I'll just brief overview of these things um, and what they do, and you know what you, what you can expect to see out of those. That is something that we will um, talk a little bit about. We'll install and, and we'll configure all of that um, it, it, when we come to the Lightning Network. The other implementation that I will be also talking about is Core Lightning. Um, and this is um, another implementation, uh, not as popular as LND, um, but certainly gaining traction. So this is something that we will learn to configure and install and all those sorts of things as well. Now, to um, actually control uh, these uh, implementations of uh, Lightning Network, um, we can use a graphical representation of that. So from here, um, we'll install uh, Ride the Lightning, which is going to interface with LND, which will allow us to control um, graphically in a web uh, interface, um, uh, the opening of channels, um, you know, paying people, all those sorts of things in a, in a nice graphical way. Um, We'll also be installing Zeus Wallet, um, which is uh, for our mobile phone, um, so that you can control your um, Lightning Network implementation with Zeus Wallet on your mobile phone um, when you're on the fly. And we will also um, talk a little bit about Thunderhub, which currently only interfaces with LND. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll install that as well. So that presents um, uh, an overview of what we'll probably be going through throughout the entire series. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to support the work that I'm doing, head on over to ministryofnodes.com and click on the support button. I accept Bitcoin, Lightning, PayPal, and credit card. If you want one-on-one -on -one consulting, head on over to the consulting page and book in into my calendar widget. I can help you with holding your own keys, running your own node, and privacy best practices. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.